My name is Clayton. C-L-A-Y-T-O-N. My favorite color is blue, and I go to the University of Kentucky. This is my story. But I don't know what I'm going to say. I messed up. It was last semester, and um, last semester I decided to join a fraternity, and the stereotype for fraternities is alcohol. And of course, I was, I was drugged into that one. Um, all last semester, I was pretty much every weekend at a party. I was drinking. I was getting drunk. I was having fun, but it was bad. Um, I made the mistake which actually turned out pretty good, of writing on my Facebook status, Clayton is hungover. Um, my friends saw that. My church friends who went to other colleges saw that. And they decided to talk to me about it. Um, of course, me knowing that it was bad, and them coming to me talking about it, I was defensive. Uh, I started yelling at them. Um, they tried to give me scripture. They tried to help me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really take it in. I try to give them scripture, um, saying how, I, I, I forget what I was trying to say, but I, I thought that I was doing good, and they were basically telling me, you don't deserve to be a Christian right now, you don't des you have no right to throw scripture in our face, we should be the ones doing, we should be the ones cutting you down for what you've done, and I felt bad, I felt like I wasn't Christian, I felt like I betrayed God, I felt like I betrayed God, and, um, this went on for about a couple of weeks, and then there was one friend. He came to me in a much more calm way, more understanding way. He talked me through it, not bashed me for it, but he talked me through it. He, he let me talk, and um, he understood me. He gave me scripture. Um, and I just thought, if there's one person out there who understands me, just one human, then God, who is God, who knows everything, has got to understand my problem has got to understand my problem. I realize God still loves me. God still loves me. Even for what I've done. He, he'll, he'll always love me. He'll always be there for me. And it really helped. And it really helped me go through the end of last semester. Since I now realize that God still loves me, it's easier for me to let go of my past. Before I clung to it, I was worried about it. I was especially worried about telling my friends. Um, now that I, I know that he still loves me the same, it's easy to forget about it because he's forgotten about it. He's erased it in his book, so it's easy to forget about it now. Because he's forgotten about it. So that's my story. Don't be chicken.